So we're going down to Charleston to see the Charleston Battery perform this weekend against the Phoenix Rising. Opening match, media badges, game footage, fan experience overall. We'll see you there. Wallets. Officially at our gate, um, just waiting to get on the plane to DC. Our first stop before we head down to Charleston. See you all very soon. We made it. Here we are in Charleston. <laughs> Finally made it safe and sound to Charleston after a long day of travel. Um, really looking forward to tomorrow's opening match for the Charleston Battery versus Phoenix Rising. We'll see you all tomorrow. Ready for the game today. We're gonna be getting through the day. Um, we'll be arriving to the stadium around 3 to 4 p.m. and we'll have plenty of game footage to come your way. Stay tuned. We have Connor just waking up. Ready to go, it's game match day. day, boys. Game day. Lovely crisp morning here in Charleston. Great day for a game, that's for sure. All right, so we're all packed in the back seat here. Andrew uh, lost his wallet. Milo's over there. <laughs> we, uh, he's They're making gone. friends, buddies with Tristan. And uh, that's gonna be nice and close. Andrew. Main menu. Lost his wallet. Lost my wallet. Uh, how's it going? Off to take a walk at the beach um, you know start the day off right we're in that exercises. infamous Charleston traffic they always talk about Re repeat yeah. repeat please cheese on a baguette with an extra egg, home fries, and a pecan coffee cake. We got a hangover grits bowl over here too. This is all uh, from Baguette Magic. If you're in Charleston, definitely check it out. Good breakfast spot. We're off, baby. Let's head to uh, Patriots Point. Gonna catch the game tonight. Start in a few hours here. Gonna talk to some fans. Gonna eat some really good food. Gonna drink some really good beer. Vibes are gonna be high, I think. High, a lot yeah. of energy. Got the dog losing its shit inside because <laughs> it wants to come with. And why would they not want to come with us? Because look at today. It's Charleston. Be a good day. I'm about to watch a battery win. Let's, Let's go. Load up. Let's go.
2023 president of the Regiment Fan Support Group, Mikey. Mikey, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Before we get down to the important stuff, more important stuff, what are you cooking tonight? Uh, today we're going pretty light. It's kind of pre-season for us as well. We're doing some hot dogs, got some toppings for it, some chili and, and uh, some pickled onions, some slaw, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Also got some uh, some sausages here. Somebody donated some sausage to the to the uh, to the right on. Here and, uh, so. Well, you're an important man for providing the food. Talk about the community sense uh, behind everything. Everybody comes, gets a bite to eat. Cheers yeah. on the battery. Yeah, that's it. So uh, you know, it's um, I, you know the tailgate. I think is a good way for uh, people to come out if they're not familiar people in the supporter section they come out here and they can uh, you know get a couple beers lighten up a little bit get inside you know, get the uh, tonsils kind of yeah. tuned up there for real uh, a warm up for all the beer what's your favorite yeah. thing that you uh, that you eat uh, that looks good well oh. uh, that's the first time I've made the Man. chili tonight but uh, we're known for some uh, <laughs> pork tenderloins usually okay. uh, we do some uh, pork tenderloin um, the tri-tip I've been cooking last year was a, was a big hit it's been, a, been requested uh, we always do like a low country boil a couple times a year yeah Jeff was saying the boil is pretty yeah. legendary might have to come back up for that yeah and then if you come for like one of our early Sunday games I don't know if we have any this season or not but uh, we usually do like a brunch tailgate so we we'll do like shrimp and grits and, Battery brunch. And, oh. and bacon and stuff like that so, oh. man, so yeah it's, it's pretty good so. well season's getting underway tonight I know it was sort of a long one for you guys last year in terms of results but uh, tell me what you're thinking about this season anything exciting you in particular besides the food uh well you know I'm, I'm excited to see some of the new players obviously uh, Ben the coach and uh, what he's uh, brought on and, and uh, what he's been saying is, is, is uh, you know hopefully I say optimi uh, what is it uh, cautiously optimistic yeah. so um, hopefully yeah we'll, uh, we'll get into it and uh, you know, see what's going to happen here in the next couple of weeks it's beautiful well we'll let you get back to it I know this is an important job thank you so much for joining us and, uh, on battery baby yeah that's right that. cheers Jeff correct that's right Jeff thanks for coming on great sure. to meet you yeah. thanks for having us so a loyal member of the regiment has been here since day one. Talk about the journey, the, the club's birth, the whole, from getting from A to B and before you are now. Half of the first season, the second half, I graduated from school and moved down here to Charleston. My parents were, uh, my dad was assigned to Charleston Air Force Base. From England, that's where I, I, I learned to love football. Um, so yeah, I heard about the team, was here, and have been here ever since. It's been a journey, the first, uh, first stadium, if you call it that, Mitch, if you want to call it that, <laughs> it was interesting, uh, Stony Field. We grew out of that, uh, thank God for Tony Bacher, uh, built the, the stadium over on Daniel Island, that was great. It was great for a number of years, and then uh, it just wasn't. It just it wasn't. Fell into disrepair. The team was sold, and, and uh, thanks again to, to Rob Salvatore for uh, basically saving us from the brink. The instructions. It's the way we all. Do. You you. There aren't enough teams that have been around for 30 years. There's teams that come up and come down. We've seen teams in this region, in the southeast, that come up and come down and come up. Even in MLS. I mean, MLS. Tampa Bay had a team. They're no longer. Miami had it. They're no It's just, I don't know what it is. I don't know why, but uh, the battery is stuck in the we're glad for it. Yeah. I'm glad to be here. Well, we've not even known you 10 minutes, and we already have beers in our hand. <laughs> you mentioned that it's a really welcoming community down here, so why did it first take of all, you 10 right, minutes? we definitely That's see that and we feel that. But I mean, talk about the importance of that. You mentioned some good relationships with their fan base. Yeah, the, the importance of that. I mean, we welcome anybody, uh, no matter what you're wearing, we welcome you. We try to, we actually try to get people to come to the tailgate. The tailgate's free, uh, everybody's encouraged to bring something, but if they don't, they're welcome anyway. Um, we have a great rivalry with uh, the Tampa Bay uh, the supporters clubs, uh, the Ralph's Mob and uh, Skyway Casuals, just because they've got the same mindset. Mm -hmm. You go down there, uh, you're welcome. I've been down there a few times. They welcome you to the tailgate. Uh, they'll give you a little stick, whatever, and, and that's what it's about. But on the other hand, we've had some teams, the fans that come by, and they're like absolutely refusing to come to the tailgate. They will not do that. I don't know why that is, but I mean, it's the holy city. We're, we're, we're the, 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 
I, I would like to say the epicenter of hospitality in the league. How about that? And I challenge all the other teams if, if they want to make themselves the epicenter of the hospitality in the league. We'll, we'll challenge them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, really, you guys need to come down. What we need to do is we need to make you come down for the uh, the, the Low Country Bowl. That Low Country Bowl tailgate is pretty popular. And, yeah, we enjoy that. Yeah, we're downwind of the grill food, and it's really making it difficult to execute this. You're, you're starting to yeah, it's drool coming out of my mouth. You're starting to look like my wife when uh, I'm talking to you. Like mm, I'm not interested anymore. Uh, I think it's politely when I say it was a long season for you guys, the regiment supporters last year. I uh, felt like maybe the season I wouldn't end at times. Everyone's got to go into the new season with a new attitude. What's your realistic expectations with so many new guys? Better than last year. <laughs> Better than last year from the, from the peanut gallery. Listen, we're, we're lucky to have local football. We know that. We're, we're happy. Uh, we've, been, we've been at the break. We don't want to ever get there again. Hopefully we won't ever get close. We are just happy to be here. Last season was a struggle. We were there in the stand making noise as much as we could. And we're excited to get back to doing that right now. since 2017 um, we made our name for ourselves uh, really communicating and, and getting to know our community and being a part of Charleston that's what we take pride in so um, working with the battery was kind of a no-brainer so um, we sat down with them we've done a couple different batches with the regiment and with the battery themselves and uh, we landed on a whip beer which is uh, a little bit different than the normal um, craft beer experience you get at uh, at the game or at the match um, you know in the stadium so it's a nice light bodied Belgian wit beer um, with some like banana notes and a little bit of that yeasty kind of flavor um, goes down nice and easy super super clean um, definitely want to grab one of those whenever you're out at the park Collar's podcast. We're here with Do. Do, very nice to meet you. I'm Tristan. Very nice to talk to you. Everybody here tells me you're the OG. You've been yeah. here longer than anybody else. Yeah. You're Mr. Day One. 1993. 1993 has been here. So talk about the team growth and the time that you've been able to see it since 1993. All the things they've been able to do here and all the great uh, improvements that they've made. Talk about that a little bit. Started in 1993 and we got the uh, first uh, championship in 1996. And then 2003. Okay. And then the third one is uh, 2010. Yeah. And the fourth one is uh, 16 or 17. And then number five will be in 2023. Obviously, right. 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 This right. year's coming up. Yeah. Talk about some of the friends you've made. Obviously, you've been here a really long time. I'm sure you've made a ton of really good friends throughout that whole time. What does that mean to you? Well, that means a lot because you know the, we we know the battery. I mean, you know, after the beginning. You know, the, uh, I never miss a game, you know, going uh, uh, away game, you know, I went a couple of games away, you know, in Atlanta, Charlotte. Here for you guys, you were yeah. starving a few wins you would have liked to witness. You yeah. feeling good about this season? Yeah, I, I, I think I uh, feel pretty good about uh, this season. Uh, you know, we get a great coach and you know, the, the whole new team. And uh, uh, so far, it looks uh, very promising. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to seeing it. If you're ever in Charleston at a battery game, make sure you go find Gary's and have a great hangout. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go, 
went to a battery uh, 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 train thing, camp. I didn't know anything about soccer, didn't know how to spell soccer. They come home and say, oh God, you have to go to the battery. I thought they meant the battery, which is a park downtown. I thought, we've been to the battery. We've been to a lot of places down downtown. He goes, no, damn, we're not talking about that. We're talking about that Charles the Battery. I'm like, oh, I don't know. We're going to have to cross the battery. So they were the ones to introduce us to the Charleston Battery because they really loved that their camp guy was Patrick O'Leary, who was a Nigerian uh, national. Uh, and so that's what kind of got us into the battery. Former we, battery player. Former battery player. We had to go uh, watch the battery there at Stony Field downtown, which is uh, was a piece of shit to field downtown. Uh, but that's what we had. Uh, again, I think about 1994, uh, before MLS. Uh, we actually played one team that had uh, Tony Miola on it. He was in uh, the league back then, uh, getting ready for uh, the World Cup. And my, my sons and them were all cursing this guy, and he was cursing back at him. It was just crazy stuff. Uh, so then we finally moved from uh, downtown. We got a new owner, uh, Tony Backer, who was an Englishman, and he was uh, he actually had started Black Ball, which was an IT company here uh, in Charleston. And uh, he was worth a lot of money, and he finally uh, built Black Ball, which most people know about Black Ball on uh, Daniel Island, which is not there anymore, but he opened that stadium. It was the first soccer-specific stadium in America. It opened in 1999, uh, just a few days before uh, the um, Columbus Crew, which they're all pissed off because we got there a little bit earlier than them, uh, but we were the first soccer-specific stadium, and we're a minor league team. So anyway, uh, we opened up a uh, 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 battery uh, on the uh, uh, black ball, and that's what kind of exploded. Uh, we had a great field. It was nothing else on there but soccer. It was a beautiful field. We had all kinds of European countries coming over here in the summer during, for stadium. training, um, and we had all kinds of great... Uh, uh, Carolina X Challenge Cup. Carolina Challenge Cup, uh, MOS teams. It was all going on on that stadium for years. It was just it was just like heaven. It's like, oh my God, we are literally in heaven. This little tiny stadium in little tiny Charleston. History we've recorded since 1994. Um, we have Helen, a long time supporter of the Charleston Battery. Helen, tell us what this team means to you. Uh, the years the I've been with them since the start. I was originally a season ticket holder back in. Oh, I've been leaving. So, uh, yeah, I didn't mean a lot to so, yeah, I remember the old days, back in Stony Hill, the rain, it gave us a burn, we would have to sweep the water off the floor. So you were involved all the way around? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, and, um, our battery man, he'd have to like, clean sometimes. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> there wasn't enough people back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, our, our mascot, yeah, yeah. yeah Lace up, lace his boots up. Yeah, yeah and go play on the These are the guys to talk to, babe. <laughs> yeah. Ellen, thank you so much for giving us a few minutes of your time. We're now looking we forward to it. Now we got a guy from Aberdeen. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. right. There it is. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got a proper footballer in the squad. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have Robbie Crawford, who's a Rangers. That's what I'm saying. Rangers, yeah. Last season, we had our uh, Exactly. If you're the guy in the middle just distributing. He won't shoot the ball. <laughs> Come on, Robbie, shoot. Yeah. Just shoot the ball. Uh, I'll be Robbie, up damn it. now all the time. I'll be like, shoot the ball.
What do we have to drink? Oh, I'm in the Rusty yeah. Gold Room Company. Juice? Juice. Ju Let me see it. It's tasty. We got home team barbecue, pork rinds, pimento cheese. Juice, juice. Juice, juice. Full pork sandwich. <laughs> Cannot beat it. We're back from Boston, had a wonderful time. Shout out to American Airlines for flying us safely through Northeaster. Good to be back home, but we already missed Charleston. A big thank you to the Charleston Battery, Ben Clemens and staff, and every fan we met along the way. If you enjoyed this video, uh, we really appreciate your support. Let us know what you want to see next, and please subscribe to our channel.